is good, yo? It's your boy, The Shows. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. Gotta make sure I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> anyway, y'all, so today we're gonna be reacting to five ghost videos so scary, you need new pants. <laughs> what? For real? All right, man. Oh, you know, be up to the challenge. All right, so guys, if you wanna go watch the original video, link will be in the description. Okay, let's just get right to it. Wrong way. Urban explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explore the abandoned Mossley Manor in Liverpool, England. The manor has a very dark history. The Victorian building was constructed over 150 years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth, who passed away in the home in 1889. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mosley Manor Care Home. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mosley Manor home. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. The care home was shut down in 2015. For obvious reasons, many claim that the Mosley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But okay. Matt and Andy from Finders Beepers are certainly not ghost hunters or even necessarily believers. Can we just talk about the name of their channel? Finders Beepers History Seekers. Did they just want something to rhyme? I don't know. I mean, sometimes you'd be surprised that the motivation behind certain names is really nothing. They just, it was random, just a random choice. Uh, but anyway, moving on. In the paranormal, they're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mosley Manor and cracking a few jokes along the way. All right, so you've just come in to a sort of where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. He didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. <laughs> How can a psychopath coming in? No, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. But I don't know whether I'm just currently too far. <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God, my heart! This is like the entrance way. Not that we can see it because they're Andy's bonds. Even though the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, when they are on their way up the manor stairs, Matt sees something truly chilling. And suddenly, things just aren't so funny anymore. Right, I'm just heading up. Is this the second or third floor we're going up to? It's because we went down to the basement, it's through, mate. Totally through. It's like good quality wallpaper. I will say that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey, wait up. Hello? Hmm. I know y'all saw that. There's somebody up there. Hello? And then again, it could be a random stranger. I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Right, I'm going up. I am okay. <laughs> Oh. What the f right, I I've gone cold. Yeah. She's not Oh, it might have been. I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hmm. Hello? You just fart. <laughs> but they went that way. And there's no way you can go. That's weird. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. As Matt films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone or something who seems to be watching them. The figure immediately walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head up the stairs to investigate, but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on camera. I just wanna also point out, it's crazy how when I look at the thumbnails for these videos, they'd be very creepy, but then when I watch the actual video, it's not as terrible as 
you know, I would have thought. I mean, obviously there were a few videos where it got very um, bizarre, but uh, not to the point where, you know, I was shaking my boots or anything like that. But yeah, I just, yeah, wanted to point that out. But I don't know. Even stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. Now keep in mind that the mysterious figure disappeared towards the right side. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded up window. The mysterious person seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. But they went that way and there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming his Victorian home? Could it be the apparition of one of the elderly patients that passed away inside the manor? Let me know what you think. You can check out Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel. Maybe a person jumped out the window. Uh, who really knows? Finders beepers while on TikTok. TikTok, again. TikTok user Chips and Chicken shared a strange video. She explains that the video was captured by CCTV late at night in the 50-year-old building of a union center in California. One night, something triggers the building's alarm. So the office manager goes to check the CCTV footage. He finds a truly chilling discovery that, as TikTok user Chips and Chicken put it, quote, freaked him out. So it's pretty good. This look like she's floating, Bob. Oh, I see it now. It's like a shadow. Oh God, that gives me the creeps. Yep. A white figure can be seen hovering around the back of the building. Yeah. Workers who watched the footage believe it might be the spirit of a Union Center member who had recently passed away. TikTok user Chips and Chicken is baffled by the footage. She says that all of the men who work in this building... And by the way, I just realized I'm kind of messing up only because I usually watch these videos when it's very, you know, bright early in the day. The sun's about to set. It's almost, it's almost about, you know, well, closer to five in the evening. It gets darker around this time, this time of year. Anyway, I should be fine. Maybe. Hopefully elderly and simply wouldn't know how to fake something like this Looks like a, so is it real like a statue. or is it just an elaborate hoax you decide tiktok user your mom's undies <laughs> let's just take a second for the giggles to pass okay. all right uh anyway she <laughs> claims that she is usually unaffected by anything scary that she watches on the internet or tv but when her uncle sent her this video captured at his apartment in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she was shocked. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I'm blowing eyes. Whoa, time to move out of the apartment, burn the place down, maybe set up shop somewhere else, I'm just saying. You see that, you don't ask any questions, you just go. That's honestly my opinion, okay? Wow. The family claims that they have been tormented by frequent paranormal activity for the entire four years that they have lived in this apartment. But they say they've never captured anything like this before. What terrifies the family even more is that the dark figure, which appears to have claws for hands, can be seen coming out of their sleeping baby's bedroom. When they received the notification of captured movement caught by their security camera, they say they immediately fled the apartment to stay at their parents' home. So did the family capture some dark entity on camera? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect, the dead. Popular Jordanian livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is back. This is probably now the third, fourth, maybe even the fifth time I've seen him on this on these type of compilations. Because I'm always seeing his name, especially in these uh, uh, ghost video compilations. With another terrifying investigation as he travels to an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. The house is said to be haunted by a dark spirit or djinn. 
As Hassan explores, he records everything live for his Snapchat followers. Soon, he begins to hear a very chilling sound. Whoa, um, I know I'm not crazy. Y'all heard that screaming, right? Like someone's, you know, screaming, you know, for help or something. I, I bro. I'm in the light. في حد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الذي يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الله أكبر بسم الله الله أكبر Hassan sees a dark figure peeking out from the door of the abandoned house as it darts back inside Hassan runs to the building but the figure has disappeared but whatever is roaming the property seems to be getting even closer. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق جي بري بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله الله أكبر again Hassan runs as fast as he can only to find nothing he's beginning Bismillah. <laughs> The terrifying scream becomes ear-piercingly loud and Hassan once again attempts to run toward the source of the sound. But he Why does everyone run towards the noise? I'm leaving. Like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm convinced. I, I could never be the person in a horror movie being that curious. And that is a fact, 100%. Painfully stubs his toe against a piece of cement. The room appears to be completely empty as Hassan checks his injured toe. Then, out of nowhere, the intense screaming is back, and now it seems to be right where he's standing. Hassan is frightened but keeps filming for his live stream audience. That's when things take a terrifying turn. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التمات من شر ما خلق بسم الله لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Yo, something just popped up behind him like a silhouette dark figure, bro. Oh, man. As Hassan looks out a window, he gets hit in the neck by something. As he points the camera towards himself to show his injured neck, a horrifying dark figure suddenly appears right behind him. Terrified, he turns around, but again, there's no one there. You would think after so many adventures of being in these abandoned places, he would learn by now, probably just don't go into these abandoned places. But for all I know, his subscribers or viewers keep requesting that he does this. Y'all don't love this man. Y'all really am convinced. Y'all don't love this man at all, because... You wouldn't put him in this kind of, you know, predicament. 
But I guess anybody do anything for the views, man. Can't say I would. Mm. That's when Hassan has finally had enough. He decides to just get out of there. Next, in careful editing. As always, you decide. This you can happens. find more creepy videos of Hassan. This happens way too much for it to be fancy editing. At this point, you might as well just create a series on Netflix or something. I mean, if that's the case. But anyway, I, I think it's real. Follower. This next video was sent in by a Nuke's top five viewer. He says that his uncle used to work in a rental store. One day, as he was walking in the door, he felt as if someone or something firmly touched him on the back. He looked around, but no one there. But when he checked the store's security footage, he was shocked to the core. Sir, you can't believe that happened, dude. So in touch. It is on camera. Yeah, get that person behind me, dude. Look at the mask. Now watch. Touches me. Gone. Gone, dude. Look. I'm like, what the? Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, man! So, uh, shadow again. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm looking for things. <laughs> and they're looking at me. Now, normally I would say that what you see on the footage is simply caused by a common camera compression glitch. Yeah. But. The guy's reaction is just not so easy to explain. The man looks around in confusion, and it seems that he truly believes that someone just touched him, mm. even though there's no one there. So could this strange mist that seems to follow him be something paranormal? Let me know down in the comments. Off the air. Antonis Vlahos is a paranormal investigator from the Greek YouTube channel Herfusikes Drastiriotites, which in English translates to paranormal activities. Antonis says that he was sent multiple reports from townspeople about the strange things happening in a quiet and mostly abandoned mountain village in Greece. They get the grotesquely odd sensation of worms crawling on their feet. The activity has gotten so intense that almost all of the villagers. I don't like worms. And would never wish that on anybody to get the feeling of worms, so eh. Decided to leave the town for good. The very few inhabitants left are still looking for answers. Antonis Vlahos is skeptical about the strange reports, but agrees to travel to the small mountain town to investigate. When he and his cameraman arrive, they discover that many of the town's homes are indeed abandoned. They decide to spend the night inside one of these abandoned homes to try and capture some of the reported strange phenomena on camera. As they explore the abandoned house, they begin to get the feeling that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. <laughs> Right. Antonis and his cameraman decide to lay down for a rest, but they leave their cameras recording just in case. That's when they capture something downright chilling. It's like a distorted noise. Hmm. 
Μα δεν κατακού. Καλά να κάνει τώρα. Άδειο. Δεν είναι κατακού που παίζει. Μαλάκα δεν υπάρχουν. Δεν είναι κατακού που παίζει. Μαλάκα δεν υπάρχουν. Μαλάκα δεν υπάρχουν. Μαλάκα δεν υπάρχουν. Μαλάκα δεν υπάρχουν. Μαλάκα είναι δυνατό να παίζει μόνο του. Να κάτι θα δω. Να καθώ δεν παίρνω τις μπαταρίες. Σταμάτσε. Δεν είμαστε καλά. Time for a rest once again. It did not go well. Αντώνη, τι Εγώ ακόμα ακούω ήχους μέσα αυτή τη στιγμή. Ήταν ότι πιο δυνατό έχω ζήσει. Ότι πιο αναπτυχιστικό έχω ζήσει. Πρώτα εγώ δεν μπαίνω. Τα πράγματα πώς θα τα πάρουμε. Θα τα πες. Ε, το πρωί. Και εγώ. Θα πάρω το λέξα κάποια πράγματα ρε φίλε. Γιατί δεν γίνεται. Έχουμε εγώ. Ωραία. Θα μας πάμε τόσο πρόβλημα. Εντάξει δεν έχω ζήσει πιο αναπτυχιστικό. Περιστατικό. No less than three different cameras are recording when suddenly the whole house starts to shake. The family photos fly into the air and a chair is thrown across one of the house's rooms. The terrified team runs outside to safety, leaving all of their equipment inside. Antonis explains that this is the creepiest and most intense activity he has ever experienced. So did the Paranormal Activities team capture real Paranormal Activity on camera? Are the stories about the abandoned town true? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Okay, so y'all, that was Nuke's top five, five ghost, <clears throat> five ghost videos, so scary, you'll need new pants. I mean, yo, like, these videos keep getting more bizarre, but I'm not too shaken up, except for that one with um, the guy in the abandoned building with that shell, you know, popping up behind the dark silhouette shell, man. Yeah, he needs to stop doing that. I mean, look, if you want to please your viewers, I get it. But sometimes you need to think about your own safety first. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if you did, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am making new videos for every Thursday. And once again, this is Shows World TV. I make reactions, sketches, and vlogs. So don't forget to hit that bell to be notified. Every time I make a new video, okay, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And download all my latest music for free for streaming off of purchase. All the links for everything is in the description down below. I want to thank y'all for watching, all right? And so if you want more videos like this, then click that playlist right there. And if you want more recent sketches, then click those two videos right there. All right, so I'm going to head up out of here and edit this right now. So it is your boy, Shells, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.